There are many different types of athletic events on any given weekend, some more difficult than others. And then there's the gut check, an ultra-endurance 48-hour bike race across South Dakota on Highway 212. Josh Ellis organized the event for his father. Father has Crohn's disease. He's had Crohn's disease for 18 years, so I was sitting in my office one day trying to think of something I could do. Crohn's disease, it's an inflammatory bowel disease, so it does affect the, the guts, I guess. The, so I decided to call it the Highway 212 Gut Check. Riders up to the challenge were asked to make a donation to the charity and were given customized dog tags at the start of the race. KSFY's own Jeff Bach took up road biking just to compete in this unique event. Yes, I guess I'm doing this because you know, a lot of people go through life and they do simple things and simple tasks. They get up and go to work, but there's not many people that do something that's truly unique and that no one else can say they've done. If I make it all the way, I think uh, this will be the greatest the physical accomplishment of my life. Starting on mile marker zero on the Wyoming-South Dakota border, the race began on Friday, August 18th. It goes without saying, a race of this distance takes a great deal of training. Getting up to the event, Bonk could ride up to 350 miles a week. KSFY water. Bottled in Watertown. We'll be there uh, Sunday afternoon. As night closed in, some riders decided to stop. While others continued. Bonk began day two after sleeping only four hours. I'm about 30 miles west of Faith, and hopefully my goal is to get to Redfield today, which is 220 miles. This will be the longest bike ride of my life. Greeted by the sun, Jeff pedaled on as the other riders fell behind our cameras. The 10 mile per hour winds out of the east, conditions were not ideal for a 200 plus mile day. That last stretch wasn't good out of uh, Eagle Butte. It was like 20 miles, slightly uphill the whole time. The road was in bad shape. Uh, the wind was in my face. Finally reached the Missouri River, the halfway point, 206 miles. Um, it's taken me exactly 24 hours and 5 minutes. It became a race against himself. Only Bonk had made it far enough to possibly finish in 48 hours or less. Well, I didn't get 220 miles today. I only got 185, which is the longest I've ever, I've ever rode in one day. So tomorrow i got to do 150 miles in one day. With 5 hours of sleep, a protein drink, and a bowl of soup, Jeff hit the road once again. Well, it's 5.15 a.m. here in Falkton. I have till 5 p.m. to get to the border, 150 miles. I do not want to ride a bike Pushing today. Pushing through the eastern half of South Dakota, Bonk traveled 50 miles to Redfield, then nearly 30 more to Clark. Greeted by Josh Ellis, Bonk received the news that he was the last rider on the road. Watertown's about 33 miles away, and then the border's about another 35 after that. I got five hours. It's going to be tough. Having fought the wind out of the east since Saturday morning, the wind finally realized it was dealing with a special kind of determination. It wouldn't give up and decided to help out. Reaching speeds of 25 miles per hour on flats, Bonk sailed through Watertown on his way to the South Dakota-Minnesota border, becoming the first champion of the gut check endurance race across South Dakota. I don't look happy, but I'm happy. I've done a lot of things in my life, but I think this is the best because if I finished 48 hours in one second, I wouldn't have been, I would have been devastated. <laughs> the first winner of the Highway 212 got the checked. The first insane person <laughs> to try to. <laughs> now next year he has to defend the jersey. For KSFY, this is Eric Thorstenson saying 412 miles and 48 hours have passed. A weekend adventure that will never be forgotten has come to an end.